Howdy, friends. I'm meteorologist Chris Martin, and good Friday morning to you. We are looking at lots of sunshine ahead to the area later on today. The clouds clear out from northwest to southeast. The rain is already pushing out of the Texas Panhandle. Our soil temperatures in the lower 50s from two to six inches. Humidity will be lower this afternoon with the more sunshine and the higher temperatures down to 40 percent. Our dry potential is back to the high category instead, and our pan evaporation is about two tenths of an inch. We have yet another cold front actually heading into the area later on tonight. This one, dry air. Will with it, but thankfully not so cold. We dropped to 42 degrees for tomorrow morning. In the afternoon on Saturday, we'll continue on with a northeasterly wind and lots of sunshine, a few high clouds above us. On Sunday, we're looking for the possibility of some showers coming back to the area. An upper level disturbance moves in from the south and west over Mexico and then New Mexico and then into the Texas Panhandle. And a few isolated showers, not out of the question. We'll be fairly dry here at the surface, so we're not looking at any widespread rain, but the winds will be breezy from the south at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. On, on Monday, We'll top out at 71 degrees. Warmer conditions, then we get to cool down yet again. By Tuesday, we're talking more widespread rain, another big upper level low headed this way, much like we saw the last one, but not quite so cold. We'll get to a high of 60 degrees on Tuesday with scattered showers that continue on into Wednesday morning. And again, therefore, this next week, we'll stay above the freezing mark. By next Thursday, though, we'll see the clouds starting to clear out. Look for high temperatures in the 60s and the 70s yet again. So, a big weather roller coaster as far as the temperatures and the rain are concerned. Hope you have a fantastic weekend, though. Thanks for clicking on myplanes.com.